I guess you might be busy right now. Jeez, alright, I guess you didn't answer my call. I might as well leave this voice message anyway. Alright, I wonder how I'm gonna say this. Um, I wanted to say this when you'd be here to listen, but I guess this will have to do for now. I can't take it any longer. I need to get something off my chest. This has been on my mind for a very long time, so please hear me out. Look, I really don't like your girlfriend. She mistreats you, and the way she talks about you behind your back makes me sick. She is just so rude and unforgiving, and you deserve so much better than that. Like, I can see how she looks at other people. She looks at other guys all the time. She even tells everyone how if she wasn't with you, she'd happily be with them. Sometimes she even touches their shoulders or does really flirty things on purpose, and it makes me sick. Because I know you're a great guy, and you deserve so much better than that. You deserve a lot better than what she's giving you. She's so rude and unforgiving, and she barely talks to you anymore. I, I just, I hate her. I really don't want you to be with her anymore. But that's just my own personal opinion, so please take it to heart, because you deserve so much better than that. You deserve someone who wakes up in the morning and gives you a text message and right before you get ready to go somewhere, a be safe message and occasional checkups to make sure you're okay. You deserve someone who cares about you. You deserve someone who, who will stay up until 5 a.m. listening to you sleep. Who will wake up in the morning and keep you in the call until... You wake up and realize that you fell asleep on the phone again. You you deserve someone who really cares about you. And I know she doesn't. And that's what makes me upset. I just really want you to be happy. I really want you to achieve all the things you want to achieve. But she's just holding you back. She's telling you you can't do these beautiful, great things when I know you can. I believe in you. You can accomplish anything. And it just makes me so upset when she's so rude to you. Anytime I see it, I just it makes me so upset. Because I know you shouldn't have to deal with that. You shouldn't have to wake up in the morning and dread talking to someone, especially your lover. I just don't understand. I know she's been distant to you lately, and I know she's been talking to other guys so much that I wouldn't be surprised if she's cheating on you. Please, it's for the best that you aren't with her. I know it hurts to break up, and I know it hurts to be alone. I know, because I've been alone for such a long time. I just want you to be happy, and I know with her, you're just forcing yourself to like the old version of her that cared. She doesn't care anymore. Please, you have to listen. She doesn't care about you. Please. I, I really just want what's best for you. I want you to be happy. I want you to wake up in the morning and smile. And I want you to just love talking to someone. Like I how I like talking to you. I shouldn't be saying this kind of thing, but I don't know, I'm just feeling really emotionally vulnerable right now, and I've been going through so much stuff that I just, you've been helping me so much that I don't know what to do. I'm developing feelings for you. I am. And I feel terrible about it, because I know you probably don't like me back, and I know it's wrong of me to confess after telling you how terrible your girlfriend is and how you shouldn't be with her, but I want to be with you. I want to wake up in the morning and give you a good morning text. <laughs>
I want to hold your hand and smile and blush and love and just be close to you. I want to learn every part of you, all your emotions, all of your little quirks, your little smile and blush on your face whenever something really, really embarrasses you, the way your eyes upturn, the way that your cheeks redden, the way that you present yourself is so lovely. Every day I find myself looking at you when you look at her. You don't see me. You only see me whenever it's just us. And I know it's selfish. I know it's selfish of me to ask for you to listen to me and hear me out and hear this kind of thing, but I really want to. I know I told myself love was out of question. There's been many times that I wrote off feelings for someone just so I wouldn't get hurt. I'm just so sick of being hurt, and I know that by telling you this, I'm just going to get hurt more. And that's what terrifies me. I just don't want to lose our friendship, but I so desperately love you. I feel so close to you, and I feel so connected with you as an individual that I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say around you, because I just so desperately want to say, please, don't be with her. She mistreats you. I want you to be with me. I know it's wrong of me to ask, and I know you're just my friend, but I really cherish our times together. I cherish every moment of every second of every day. All the little things we do together makes me so embarrassed, and I, any compliment you give me makes me smile for the rest of the day. Any, any games we play together, I get so happy and excited to play again. I just enjoy every second with you. I enjoy all of the new experiences we've had together. I enjoy being with you. She doesn't. I know she doesn't. And you deserve so much better than that. I'm not saying that of anything you deserve me, because I don't deserve you, if anything. I don't deserve you, but I desperately want to. I want to be that girl for you. I probably should just delete this. Yeah. I'm just going to delete this and leave a normal voice message. I I shouldn't have said that. Well, I wonder what I should say. I'll probably just say that I want to uh, hang out at the uh, cra arcade again or something. I wonder if I really should delete this. No, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think I should tell him. I'm not ready to tell him yet. I, I shouldn't have said anything. Thank goodness that there's a delete button. I can't believe I said that and got all emotional. I'm such a